Okay, Evan. Oh man, he got it. That's a good one. Oh Woo. yeah. Hey, did you make all ear team? Did you make the KB No Swag yeah, ear team? I was uh, honorable mention. Yeah, I gotta tell you a good bed bug story about him. About what? About about KB No Swag and bed bugs. De Palma. Hey, De Palma, I gotta tell him a quick bed bug story over here. All right. All right. He made all ear team. He made all ear team. He made all ear team. Okay. Let's talk. Let's talk seriously. I won't, I won't tell it, but <laughs> your boy KB knows swag. The guy who put you on the team. You're yeah. honorable mention? Yeah. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a juicy one. Okay. 19 and 1 on the year. Yeah. You're beating a lot of people. Who did you lose to? Shakir Laney from OU. So that's who beat you? Yeah. First He's explosive. Uh, and then, okay, so is that the one where the best you can do is fifth then? Yeah, if you lose before the semis. So you came back and took fifth? Uh, no contest for fifth and sixth because the kid wrestled six matches. Oh, they had the rule. I think it was actually this magic rule. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, looking at that tonight, let's just talk about that tonight. His two-on-one and his double collar tie. How frustrating was that tonight? Yeah, the double collar tie was definitely frustrating. Couldn't get to any uh, attacks. Just hanging on my headgear, double collar tie over my head. Couldn't get into anything, so found a quick little, I think it was an ankle pick I scored off of. And... Couldn't really find any other openings. Really hard not to stall, but also couldn't find an attacks in the in the third period. But I do what I was presented with. So. I mean, you did what you had to do, yeah. right? I don't feel like you were in any danger ever of yeah. being scored on. That's like one of those three-two matches where it isn't even close. Right? Would you could agree with that? Yeah, I didn't feel threatened at all. So the Shakur Laney, when do you have a chance at CNOU again? Do you guys duel them? Yeah, we we duel them. I believe here at home. In uh, January, I believe, maybe February. Did he surprise you a little bit? Because he's super explosive. Yeah, he just got me early, not warmed up. It was uh, all overtimes, I believe. Just, you know, scored at the very end. He's very explosive, but I think I got a good game plan for him next time coming Th around. That's probably like a round of 12, round of 16 type match. Yeah. Those are the ones you want, right? Right. How is Josh and Clint and Boomer, how are they preparing you to, to make a run this year? They're just getting me on my offense, you know. Making sure I'm staying with my underhook attacks, but still getting them uh, leg attacks, double legs, front head traps, things like that, and just dominate guys on top. That's where I really open up the scores, you know, getting back points one after another and lighting guys up. So we've just been working on moving my feet a lot, getting more takedowns and guys in practice. So in matches, I can light up guys early in the matches, first period. You were the EWL uh, OW two years ago, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Who was it that you, you pinned? Who'd you pin in the finals? It wasn't it wasn't uh, the guy who made the NSA finals. Who was it? It was Brock Zachrell. It was Zachrell. That's who he it was. was. Undefeated. He was undefeated, and you and you stuck it. First period. It was awesome. Yeah. I think I was commentating it. Yeah, it was two seconds left. I think. Before. It was nuts, right? Yeah. I knew it was somebody. I, th I don't know if it was Ronnie Perry or Zachrell. I, no, I couldn't. Zachrell. Zachrell. But you know, like when you look at that tournament, you know, you had a huge tournament. Everybody knows you're dangerous now. Do guys yeah. wrestle you differently? Yeah, a little bit. Guys come with an actual game plan. They don't want to tie up. They try to stay, keep distance from me. But I don't think it really matters if I get my hands on guys and usually getting takedowns. Looking at undefeated right now, first semester. You got the VMI duels coming up, I believe Josh said. Um, you could be undefeated going into the second semester. One what would loss. that mean to, huh? One loss. One loss. Who'd you guys lose to? Secure. No, no, no. Your team. Oh, the team. Okay. Your team's undefeated. Yeah, team's undefeated. Team's undefeated. Yeah. I pay attention to stuff. <laughs> but you're, you're undefeated as a team. Yeah. What would it mean for the team to be undefeated going into second semester? Uh, it would be huge. Um, like, this is a big hype for us and our team. Since I've been here, we haven't had a season where we've been this successful earlier in the year. We've usually taken a couple lumps early, and it's hard to come back from that. And I feel just being undefeated right now, especially having these two MAC wins, is going to fuel our team. And we'll come back even strong and keep winning some goals. A lot of people, you know, I was talking to Logan, a lot of people are like, oh, Cleveland State, you know, they kind of almost like look down their nose. Right. This is a great place. Oh, yeah, They've like invested it. a ton of money in the school. They've built dorms, yeah. like townhouses. The dorms are incredible. Yeah, the dorms are fantastic. Your student union's wow. incredible. The place is really nice. Yeah, the people are great, right? Yeah. Like, what would you say to a recruit who's, who's like, oh, I don't want to go to Cleveland State. Ohio came here, right? Yeah. What would you say to someone? I'll just tell them, you know, just trust in it. Uh, we got a great coaching staff since the last two years with Musser and Moore and Boomer. Like they know what they're doing. These guys got us on the right path, and I feel like this team's really coming coming to be something. 
I feel like in, in the future, just if, if guys in the Ohio let's not get area, run over. Let's not get run over. Let's keep if guys going. Guys in the Ohio area, just have some faith in our program. I think will skyrocket from here on out. I mean, there's no question things are going right. Right. That's not a duel you normally won, you know, three yeah. years ago. No, it's not. Do you agree with that? No. Yeah. That's just not a duel you guys would have won. No. Now you Especially guys got fighting. We were trailing. Yeah, you're down too. Us, or against uh, George Mason and Buffalo, we were trailing and came back. That's amazing. And listen, so first MAC duel win, home duel win in history. Yeah. And then Buffalo's the first MAC away, you know, win period, right? Yeah. So it's on the up and up here, man. All right. Old man's here. You probably got to get some dinner with yeah. him. You got anything else for me? That's it, man. All right. That was sweet not getting run over. Yeah. And now I got to tell you this story real quick off camera, <laughs> all right?